the African who existed in history and they say history is when a people begins to write that starts the history that means there is no history for Greece until Homer wrote the Iliad and the there is no other written record in Europe until Homer wrote the Iliad and the Odyssey. Which was when? 833 before the Common Era. And Homer said in the Odyssey, quote, the gods Zeus and Apollo came from Ethiopia, unquote. Zeus and Apollo is known as Greece's first two gods. <coughs> and Homer himself, the first Greek writer, said they came from Ethiopia. The Egyptian writer, Hunefer, H-U-N-E-F-E-R, in the papyrus of Hunefer, said, quote, we came from the beginning of the Nile, where God happy dwells at the foothills of the mountain of the moon, unquote. Secondly, when the Africans wrote and created writing, there was no God Jehovah yet, no Adam and Eve yet. The first Hebrew, Abraham, was not born. He, Abraham is not born until, at best, 1346 before the common era in the city of Ur in Chaldea. Chaldea is about where modern-day Iraq, just south of it is, where the Tigris and Euphrates meet. Now, when Abraham was born, is equivalent to the 13th dynasty just around the time when a people called the Shepherd Kings or Hyksos invaded the northern part of this land around the Delta and they did not come any further south than a place called Avaris and they're still in the Delta for instance Hyksos have never been this far they have never been as far as Cairo, modern, and Cairo is my old city. It, the oldest, it could go back in Fustat. And it was made by the Kankras during the time of Muhammad Ali. And Muhammad Ali wasn't in, even an Arab. He was an Albanian who took on the name uh, Muhammad Ali. Now, when he converted to Islam to get the throne. Uh, if we go back further, of not a single Hebrew was in this land until then unless he was astray there was no sing a single nation there were no body named abraham abraham mother and father did not follow what we call judas today terror his father worshipped an african woman an african woman you will see right across here called hathor h-a-t-h-a-o that's the western spelling the correct name is Het Heru, H-E-T hyphen H-H-E-R-O. You will see her and the, and the funerary temple of Queen Hat, Abnakari Hatshepsut. She is sown as a cow. And when she is sown as a woman, it's an African woman with cow's ears. The best place you will see her is at a temple dedicated solely to her at a place called Dendera. Then you will see thousands of faces of her, especially in the Hippostyle Hall. The Hebrews in the book, in the first book, the book called Genesis, which means first, mm -hmm. they showed that Abraham worshipped the golden calf. India calling the sacred cow. But the golden calf is nothing else but goddess Hathor. Now, that's the 13th dynasty. If we go back to find out all that was done by the time of the 13th dynasty here, before the first Asian, there is no European history then. The, the Etruscans, the first of European along with the people of Paris, 
which later became the Romans and the Greeks, are not in history then. That don't say they don't exist, but they, they, they are, there are no records mm -hmm. of them. There's no record of, of an Adam or an Eve, then what? No God, no Jehovah, no Jesus, no Allah, then. But the Africans but were the already... Africans, oh, but Africa and Gapita, they, I, I, I'm going at random, I could mm -hmm. keep, uh, knock them off, let me go. Since African God had goddesses, I mean, they weren't eunuchs or anything like that. So, the Africans had Pita, right? They had Nut. They had Osiris. They had Isis. Uh, and by the way, uh, I could use the proper name. When I said Osiris, they had Asaru. When I said Isis, they had Aset. They, have, they, they, they had his son, the, who, the, the Trinity. They had Asaru's son, uh, Heru, or Horus, born of an immaculate concepted mother, he himself born of a virgin birth, which you can see the story at the temple of Setaiwan at a place called Abydos. And Setaiwan was the, uh, a king, a uh, uh, 19th dynasty king. Uh, the Africans equally had numerous other goddesses and gods.